Hey everybody, it's RC, and today I am going to be reviewing Black Betty. Uh, as you can see, it's a little different than the Ridgecrest I had, Exhibit A, and Exhibit B would be the frame. This is an SCX-10 JK that I traded my E-Revo brushless for. And I'm pretty happy with it. And I was getting sick and tired of always fixing my e Revo. And this thing I don't have to fix all the time. I can just plug it in and drive. Which is nice. It's a great thing about crawlers. They don't need too much maintenance. Um, yeah. When I bought this, this thing was not in very great shape. As you can see, it's missing rock sliders. And some of the screws are not where they're supposed to be uh, that is not the right screw for the what it's supposed to be doing <coughs> they, er, other than those little things it's nice uh, this here this bumper was made by Monster Patch Productions check him out check out his channel if you haven't already He's got some really good videos. And this is one of his first builds. So it's obviously not the best. But it's pretty darn good. This was like probably his second project. His first was a, a replica of some rock bouncer. I can't remember. Tim Cameron's rock bouncer. And yeah, it was pretty, pretty cool. Um, so also when I got this, it had some really crappy electronics on it, in it. Like, I think this guy was on crack when he built this rig. Because it had, like, the worst electronics you could ever get. Like, it had an AE1, an HPI radio, an axial servo. I think the only good thing about it was a 27 churn in there which crapped out and these lights that he gave that he included which are nice they shine fairly bright uh, as you can see it's not mounted to the body they're mounted to the bumper they're mounted right in there so it's a little different than your normal lighting system and the tail lights are mounted inside the bumper like they're supposed to be. And yeah, this is also the body that was included with it. Uh, you guys probably don't care too much about that, it's just a Jeep body. And yeah, things to like about this thing uh, it performs great, especially with weighted wheels. Uh, I can crawl over a lot of stuff, but I can't keep up to a ridge crest at all. It's harder to crawl, which is a lot more fun. Hmm. I haven't done one of these in a while. I forget how to do them. It's got the uh, all aluminum links. I'm thinking... Call me crazy, but I'm thinking about putting curries in this thing. I think that'd be pretty cool. Really expensive, but pretty cool. Uh, so what it's got now, it's got... It's got a... Um, this a high-tech... 7954SH steering servo. High torque. A2 ESC with a 10 amp BEC, which is at 7 amps right now. BECs are great. If you don't have one, get one. Because you will love it. They do so much, you don't even notice 
how crappy your rig runs until you stick a BEC in this thing, in one of them. Because they are the best. It's got a Traxxas 21 churn, which performs great. I haven't had any problems with it. Then again, I haven't gone mudding yet. Yet. Mm, and yeah. So, that is my crappy overview of Black Betty. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. So, yeah. I'll see you on the trails. Peace.